Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, do you ever get the sense that we are in the calm before the storm? Hmm. Sometimes that feeling comes over you and you can't shake it. Uh, the calm before the storm is a very uh, frightening feeling to have come over you. Very frightening. The world is flooded with chaos right now. But in the midst of all that chaos, there are other things going on as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Lots of other things going on. Many things are happening. Um, everyone's attention is being pulled in every direction. Some are paying more attention to the things that they need to pay attention to while others uh, continue to sleepwalk through this life as if they have all the time in the world to prepare and get themselves ready for what is next. No matter what you say, some people will never awaken out of the sleep that they are in because they have been effectively programmed to move about and think the way that they do. Uh, this is early morning right now and um, very quiet right now. Uh, this is the best time to reflect and to analyze your life. Uh, this is the best time to meditate and think on what lies ahead. <laughs> Out of my vision, I just saw this this animal come walking. <laughs> I saw her out of the side view vision. Hi there, kitty cat. I don't want to get sidetracked from what I'm talking about here. But again, <clears throat> there seems like a calm before the storm in the world. Uh, people are not uh, going in the direction that they should be going at this time. Uh, people are too focused on the wrong things. And it's like while they're focused on the wrong things, it's like the enemy of their soul is creeping up on them. Right? The enemy of their soul. And... The Most High, the creator of heaven and earth, he is allowing it because he knows that when people can't focus on the right things, that means he is out of the equation. I'm going to get one of these pears off of the tree here, an apple pear. Uh, they are ripe and ready to go. Grab me one of these. Okay, let me get back to my walk. But yes, the enemy of man's soul, uh, he's going about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. And guess what? The Most High has granted permission for him to devour a lot of people because um, the world is growing increasingly wicked because of the deeds of man. And instead of them drawing nigh to him, getting closer to him and gaining a better understanding of this world and of this life, they are going further and further and deeper and deeper into foolishness and madness. 
And so as we see things unfolding on the earth, things that have the obvious hand of the Most High in them, disasters, death and destruction, um, sleepwalkers not knowing what to do from one day to the next, minds completely blocked and clouded by the cares of this life, and totally unable to see what is coming next. That's why the Bible says, like a snare, destruction is going to come upon the whole earth. Like a snare. A snare is something that catches you off guard. You were totally unprepared for it. You had no idea what was in the works. And then when it happens, it's like boom. Hmm. It is what it is. And that's what was prophesied. And that is what shall be. Scripture talks about how the whole earth is going to mourn. Everyone is just living, drinking, and being merry, not even thinking about what is to come. What is to come is not going to be something pretty. <coughs> it's not going to be a relaxing moment that you'll be able to bounce back from quickly. There's not going to be the ability to call on government institutions to come in and save the day. The whole earth is going to mourn. Now, I know we talk to you all about growing food and, you know, certain preparations that you can take. See, all of that is fine and dandy, but if you don't understand the full picture, you will think that you can save yourself out of what is coming upon the earth. What was prophesied is not something you can save yourself from. This is going to be something so big, according to biblical prophecy, that it will require uh, divine intervention. So I want you to keep that in mind, those of you who think you have your stuff in order. Now I'm not saying not to get in order because there are gonna be um, things that's gonna lead up to that, right? There are going to be smaller disasters, or should I say regional disasters, before the big thing happens. That's my baby goose right there. I let her spend her first night outside by herself. She's my pet. We have other geese on the property, but I've made this one my pet. Her name is Seven, or his name is Seven. Not sure if it's a boy or a girl. Anyway, back to the subject at hand. The best thing you can do for yourself and your life is to prepare your mind, both naturally and spiritually, uh, because there are going to be things, events leading up to the big event, right? And so, of course, those that are called and chosen by the Most High he is going to make a way of escape for his people, right? So in the meantime, plant gardens, build houses, whatever it is uh, you feel led to do. do. Do those things. Prepare yourself. Because again, uh, there are going to be regions and segments of things that are going to be happening before the big thing happens. But in all of this, make sure that you are spiritually and naturally prepared for what is to come. Because what has been prophesied and spoken shall come to pass. Uh, the Bible tells us that the Most High's word came forth out of his mouth and it shall not return void. Meaning it's going to accomplish that that was spoken. If he spoke it, it shall come to pass. And you can take that to the bank. Anyway, I am done with this video.
thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you keep your eyes wide open, keep your ears open, and keep your thoughts clear. Uh, learn how to hear the voice of the Most High because he is definitely speaking. And he says that his sheep will hear his voice and another they will not follow. I'm done.